And welcome back to Coral Gables Now. Nine years ago, the census reported more than 46% of Coral Gables' population was Hispanic. Yet there is hardly any information on the state of their health. This community is among several participating in a historic research project focusing on the health of Hispanics. The preliminary findings of this ongoing study have already uncovered some eye-opening information. Here to talk about the study is Community Outreach Manager for the Study of Latinos, Brenda Lee Rodriguez, and Epidemiologist Dr. David Lee. Thank you both of you for being here this morning. Thank you. Thank you. So can you explain briefly about this whole study and the selection process? Yes, sure. Uh, what we have uh, come up is a system that we take the census data, the mm -hmm. one that you mentioned, and we pair it up with the a U.S. Postal Service um, address system and we have selected via random selection just like a lottery mm -hmm. taking some addresses from selected areas in our community. Uh, we then invite them by sending them a letter bilingual with all the logos of the study, the University of Miami, so they know that it is important, that it is, uh, a, is research and it explains that a, a recruiter from the study is going to come to their home. They're going to knock on their door, explain what they are about, explain any uh, questions uh, and clarify questions and, and concerns that people may have about this study and do a selection process with some screening questions. Uh, those questions uh, will be answered and determine if the household gets invited to participate. And then they, w if they do, it's this, it's, it's this litany of, of, of exams that they go through, but it's really to shed more light on the health of Hispanics in our community. So how many have been tested so far? Well, so far, so in, far. The, in the Miami mm -hmm. uh, Field Center, we have seen 1,200 participants wow. in about a year of recruitment. And uh, the goal is to reach out to 4,000. And that is only one of the four sites of the study because we're also simultaneously in uh, New York, in San Diego, in Chicago, and of course here in Miami. Mm -hmm. And so, Doctor, tell me about the initial findings so far. Well, we, we can't really report on anything yet because we're, we're in the midst yeah. of mm -hmm. uh, recruitment uh, and we're about one-fourth of the way, or, or actually a little, uh, little better than that. Mm -hmm. um, one of the things that we've seen so far in, in the clinic is uh, that a number of uh, participants are reporting that they don't have health insurance. Uh, and this is really reflecting what's happening uh, both locally and at the national level with, with high rates of, of unemployment in the Hispanic population. And in fact, we just uh, recently uh, completed a, uh, a national study of um, employed Hispanics and we found that and, and compared them to uh, the non-Hispanic working population. And we found that uh, among non-Hispanic whites, about ni almost 90% of the working population has health insurance. Mm but not even two-thirds of, of the Hispanic working population in the United States has health insurance. So this is really a national uh, problem that we, that we face. As far as uh, medical conditions, um, being Hispanic, you always hear uh, <laughs> um, everyone has cholesterol problems. <laughs> I don't know if it's, you know, to eating too much uh, lechon or, <laughs> but what, what's going on there? Have you noticed that you've seen something already as far as that trend as well in your studies? Well, heart disease is, uh, of course, the number one killer of, of, of all Americans. Mm -hmm. And that uh, studying heart disease and the risk factors for heart disease is one of the, the main priorities of, of, yeah. of the study. Um, also, um, we have an emerging epidemic of diabetes in the, in the United States and in, in the adult population, and so we're, we're carefully uh, studying that as part of the Hispanic Community Health Study as well. And, and I know that this, the results that are the, te the examination results are given to the to the person who's participating, right. and then they can take it to their doctor. Mm -hmm. Have you noticed uh, on their part that they are surprised at what they have, or are now more proactive in, in getting uh, help for themselves? Yes, we have a couple of examples of that, right. and actually uh, <laughs> we have uh, capitalized on that because, mm -hmm. uh, for example, I have two recruiters in my team that they first they were participants, and once they got the results, they mm -hmm. looked at 
couple of things that were not in check and following their doctor's rec recommendation, they installed changes in their lifestyle. And, not only, and they were so eager to talk about the study that I recruit them as recruiters so they can yeah. spread the word and actually have been interviewed because of that. Mm -hmm. uh, also, I have one member of m our community advisory committee. He also uh, started as a participant and wanted to talk about the study. He had his job, but still he wanted to be uh, mm -hmm. a, wow. a portavoz, a person that speaks about the study. So wow. a, we have seen changes at the individual level. And then when the scientists sit down with all the data can be then analyzed and talk about the groups of people. That's f well, thank you so much, both of you. We mm -hmm. appreciate you coming on the show mm -hmm. and giving us an update, and we wish you the best of luck. We've got two more years, right, yes. of this yes. to go, mm -hmm. and uh, mm -hmm. people can, can definitely expect uh, to be mm -hmm. recruited still uh, for this project because it is ongoing. So if you get something in the mail and it's got a sun and it says mm -hmm. Seoul on it and the mm -hmm. University of Miami, you know that it's a, it's a survey and it's legitimate. And for more information on the study, you can call 305-243-1828. And there's still much more to come on Coral Gables Now. Up next, get an update from Coral Gables at Home, the program that helps seniors live independently at home for longer. See what program is helping young entrepreneurs with their business ideas and turning them into profitable companies. And later, planning on frying your turkey this year? Well, we have some basic turkey frying tips to stop this from happening to you. You're watching Coral Gables Now.